Welcome back everyone, Grojan here, and today we are going to be trying out Belldrite. Now, this game's only come out today, and I've been looking forward to it for ages, and I watched the only Lonzi stream it when he was doing, like, the little demo playtest stream thing, and it looked really good, so I've been looking forward to getting into it. I hope you are too, so we're going to start a new game, and we're going to make ourselves a little character. Okay, so there we are, there isn't that many options for the hair, so... That is what we have gone for. Our name is Grojan. And we just picked one of the heads. And we're going to start the game. And see how we go. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh. I forgot what it looks like at the start. I think I missed the beginning of the stream that I watched. So the very beginning bits are going to be kind of new to me. But... Okay, so where we are. We have started off in the Northern Descent. Story of the Lowlands. The Lowlands are the poorest of five regions. And one of the oldest its occupants rely mainly on agriculture for their livelihood. Due to the scourge, the people are barely producing enough to sell, let alone keep for themselves. The current controlling Lord Ashbourne is cruel. Does that mean show? Okay, so we've got our Codex Law World General. We'll cancel that off. Search for answers. Talk to Dobron Yorkland, the Elder. And does it show? Is That must be the little question mark on there. Let's have a little look around this though first. We've got, like... I don't actually know what we've got up here. <laughs> It's like just a little tower. There have been like Rapunzel up in this place. we got some loot in here. we got coins, potato, mushrooms, and roasted mushrooms. And a torn piece of paper. We're fighting to save these innocents, but it's getting harder by the day. Who could have known that the butcher with this with that grim name is someone who's got a soft spot for kids? Together, we're makeshift family in this mess. Okay, so we've read that. Can we go up the ladder? Nah. Right, let's get ourselves down. We're going to go and talk to Dobron Yorkland, the elder. Oh, I'm going to something else there. Another piece of paper. Pondine is believed to be the oldest settled village in the lowlands, but conflict was sown into its very foundation. With years of establishment, the settlers of Herden, Herdine became divided on the growth of their village. Some wanted to expand north, while others wanted to stay closer to the valley. My grandmother told me stories about the early settlers, recalls Rosita Amari, a 101-year-old woman who spent her entire life in Herdine. The folks, uh, the folks here barely had enough buildings to shelter everyone, and yet they still bickered daily, day and night, about the future of the village. They decided to appoint a first elder for leadership. But for those who wanted to push north, sabotaged the election, and Chicken ended up as an elder. Not a figure of speech, a literal chicken. <laughs> the chicken was said to be an uninspiring, indecisive leader, and a human took over the elder post a month later. All right. Let's get going. Enough reading. Enough reading. We're going to go down here and talk to Dobrun Yorkland. Right, so our stamina's gone already. That looks like we've got our health bar at the top left, and then the green bar is going to be our stamina bar. Do we have a map? Oh, we do, and this place looks kind of big. So we are all the way over there, and we're going to go over here to talk to our little guy, and then there's our little village next to it. So... Pretty much like most survival games, I'd imagine we're going to be building a base or somewhere to live. We're going to be fighting off stuff. We're going to collect lots of stuff. It's going to be kind of grindy as well. But we're ready for that. We're ready for that. There's loads of people in this village. Oh, that's a scarecrow. That one is not even a person. Right, we are heading straight ahead. So yeah, I've been looking for a game kind of like this to get back into some of the survival aspects of the games because I kind of got a little bit burnt out when I was doing Valheim and... I can't remember what else we were doing at the time, but yeah. So we'll see how this goes. I think we need to talk, traveller. You're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. I mean, you know how I came to the Lowlands looking for answers. Excuse me, have I done something to offend you? Number one. Looking for answers, huh? In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need, and you could be on your way. But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. So he's telling us not to ask any questions? Can I stay in the village for now? No. No. <laughs> but you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. Come back once you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. Okay. I'll do just that. I plan on earning your trust one way or another. Oh, well, we got to go and make ourselves somewhere to live. Build a personal shack for yourself. Build your first shelter, a shack. To do so, press B. Open the constructions menu and select shack and place it on the ground. 
Each construction requires resources to build it. Building a shack shouldn't be a problem for you, but later on, hired villagers will help you out with more complex constructions. You cannot place buildings too close to existing villages. Finding a good spot close to all sorts of resources is your first big decision that will affect your logistics and strategy. Okay. That looks like it's going to be some missions or quests or something. Well, we're going to come down this way and see if we can find a nice little flat area, possibly. And see if we can build ourselves a little shack. Look at the cows in the field. Build a personal shack and wait until tomorrow to check with Dobrin Jochen. Okay, so we're going to go down this way. You right there? <laughs> look great, don't you? Graphics are really nice. I am trying this on Ultra to see how it looks, and I think so far it's looking like it's going to be okay. But we are getting a little bit further away. If we get skill points, we definitely need some stamina. Now, I'd like to find some water. I don't know whether there's any showing up on the map. Not at the minute. What's that there? A bandit encampment? Well, we're going to keep away from that one. I'm thinking down there by them trees might be a good little space. What was that? Wax harvesting. Harvest belongs to the nearby village. Oh, okay. But we don't want to be that close. I heard something growl when we were up there as well. Don't know what that was. But I don't believe we've got any weapons or anything yet. I'm hoping that that in the field in front of us is just like... Rabbits. It's rabbits. So I'm thinking... This looks like a decent little spot. We're not too far from the village. But nice little flat area. We are missing water though. But let's see. Build our personal shack. Place the construction site. Where do we want to live? Should we live over here by the trees? Just about there. Looks good to me. What do we need to build it? Add construction materials. I'm guessing we're going to need some sticks and something like that. Let's have a look at our inventory. So we have got mushrooms, potatoes. Oh, we can craft an axe. To do that, we are going to need some wood and some crude stone. So there's... What's that icon mean? Oh, that's just me. Right, we need to add flax. We've got none. So we've got to search for some flax. I don't know what it looks like. I need a cutting tool to chop down the tree. Harvest hemp. Oh, we got some hemp. So we need to figure out what flax looks like. Because we need to make it we need to make an axe. What have we got over this side? Oh, there we go, we got some flax. That was like a little purplish bush, was it? Got some sage. And all kinds of stuff here. Right, flax is that little purple thing. Or blue, was it? Actually, no. That one. It's like a purple flower. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we need six flax. We've got two. Three. We've got three. So we need three more flax. This looks like it could be some over here. There we go. Now we stopped right next to a nice little bit of flax as well. Hopefully there's no predators around here because we can't fight anything off yet. Right, so now we need 10 wood. So what do we need to make wood? Building, not that one. We got like a little tech tree. We got an army, which we haven't got. A journal, map, codex, settlement. We got our personal shack. We just need the wood to go in it. So to quick craft an axe, we still need wood and stone, which we can't really get yet. So I'm not too sure. What was that? Stone, nice. There must be... Some wood that we can collect without having to break stuff down. We need a digging tool for the stump. There looks like a piece of wood. Dead wood. Harvest. Nice. So we need a few more bits of that. And we still need a few little stones too. There's one. There's another one. And again. And one more there. That should be enough stones, I think. So we are just looking for some more dead wood. We need some broken trees. There's one. 
Oh, I said it was a stick. Got that one. How many did we need? So far, so good. Right, we'll see if that's enough. If not, we should be able to just come back and grab another couple of bits. Nice and easy. We got a berry bush. We're getting loads of food and things. I don't know whether we want to harvest all of this kind of stuff yet. Right, where were we? I heard the rustling in the trees and I was sitting there thinking, I hope that's us. I've kind of lost our house. There it is. <laughs> right, so if we're ever lost, we just look for that tall mountain. And then we know where we are. Oh no, we need 10 wood. We only got 5. Oh no, I was meant to make an axe. <laughs> I'm a dope. <laughs> if we make the axe, we can get the wood a lot easier. Right, let's try that again. Should be a few more pieces over here. More flax too. Did you hear that? I don't know whether that was in game or if one of my dogs was barking. Right, let's see if we can make an axe yet. No, we've only got one wood. We need five. So the sticks don't count as the wood. So we need to find some proper little branches. Like some more of that dead wood. Doesn't look like there's any more there. I'm here and growling. I'm here and growling and I don't know where it's coming from. But it's kind of worrying. Because we can't find not fight not enough just yet. We're going to be okay. Hey, we're not coming. We're not having any luck with this wood. We might have to go into this next set of trees. It's thick. You can't really see. Hey, we're getting loads of sticks. Hey, we're bound to find some in this little section here. Look, oh, we got a deer. We got a deer over there. It's saying that it's seeing us, so it's ran away. But that's okay, because we're not looking to kill any yet. But we've been looking around for deadwood for a while, and we have got a few pieces. We don't have enough to make an axe. We needed another four pieces, but the problem we have... No, we don't. We needed another two pieces. But the problem we've got is our inventory is full, so we're going to have to make this. There we go. Our shack construction. Personal shack. What do we need to do that? Yeah, so we got to keep coming around and building it like this. Oh, so we put all the piles on the floor over there and now we're actually building it. It's kind of clever, isn't it? Did we get everything we need? I kind of like how this goes together. It takes a while. And nearly done. Probably a little bit easier from the inside, maybe. We've got to be nearly there. Oh, so the little white bits are showing us where we've got to make stuff. Okay. Here we go. We've got ourselves a shack and we're stuck in our house. <laughs> we got stuck in our house. Wait until tomorrow. So it looks like we have got ourselves a little chest inside there. So we can put away some blueberries. Some of them. What's that? Flax seeds. We might as well keep them. Hemp. Mushrooms. Potato. We might as well put pretty much everything in there for now. Because then we can just carry more stuff, can't we? So it says wait until tomorrow. So do we need to go to bed? Too early for sleep. Okay, so we might as well go and have a little look for some stuff to go and make ourselves... Make ourselves an axe or something. There's some dead wood up there. We can go and get that. We needed four pieces. Oh, no, we needed... I can't remember how many. I think we needed about six, didn't we? But there's one. There's another one over there. Did we collect that one? Got that one. So we need 
to dig the stumps out. But we can't do that. Can we not pick this one up? Harvest. Oh, it belongs to the nearby village. So we can't harvest stuff that's too close to them. So we're going to have to go over this side, maybe. That sounds like a duck. So this is going to take me the longest, I think. Just trying to make myself an axe to use. <laughs> but it looks so... The graphics are really, really nice. So far. We walked into a rock. Have we checked our little pile of trees there? We've got loads of sticks. We don't need any of them. The noise of these animals, though. I don't want to wander too far away because I think when we do get to certain places, there's going to be stuff that's going to kill us. Near a deer. There's some dead wood there. Nice. Right, so that's that one. I think we've only got two pieces. But we need loads more. Nice little fence there. Come on. Let's find a little bit more. Right, the deer. There's some more. That's what we need. I'd like to think if there was something bad, it would pop up saying, like, it does with the deer. Right, how many have we got? I don't think there was any more than I think. So, we have got six wood. So, we just need some stones. Is that one there? Nice. Oh, no, that needs a mining tool. Right, we've got stones in our house. And it looks like the sun is starting to set. Starting to set. But we'll head on back over. Oh, hang on. That said we could harvest a sapling. What does that one give us? Not actually sure. But we'll head back. If we see any more bits of wood on the way, we'll grab it. Stamina is a real, real issue this early. I haven't seen any more stones on the floor. I mean, we we'll probably walk past loads. But look, the graphics are so nice. Even, like, the animations are all working good as well. Oh, which was the mountain I said we needed to look at? There we are. We're over there. Hope we don't get stung by all the bees. Is that following us? Is <laughs> <Did> you there? <laughs> yeah, we might be able to get traps out for these rabbits and stuff like that as well. Right, let's open the chest. We want to get the stones out. Let's do four for a minute and we'll see if we can craft ourselves an axe. Oh no, we got five out of six wood. We need one more. One more. Do you reckon we can do that before bedtime? I didn't see any when we came over this side before, but we never went that far over. I want to do this before it goes dark, if we can. There's one, there's one. Right, let's get that crafted. Perfect, perfect. Now we can put that into our hand. So we have actually got a weapon. Try chopping the tree down, see how that works. Is that little man, the little line above the circle kind of looks like? Kind of looks like a volume thing. So we got some logs and we got some wood. Right, we need to find our house. So next we're going to need to make ourselves a torch and a primitive club. But so we need four more wood for the primitive club. So I reckon we can just chop some of these down. Get ourselves a club. And I think we only get one piece of wood, don't we? One log. There sticks. Okay, what about if we try and chop one of these big trees down? This one's huge. I'm imagining that they're going to grow back as well, I think. They generally do in these kind of games, don't they? Oh, that's better. We chop this up for more little logs. Is 
Takes him a while. What do you do then? <laughs> Say, oh, inventory full. You're looking at quite a few swings per log. Right, that's full. So that might be gone by morning. But it is bedtime, I guess, anyway. So we're going to go and throw some stuff away. In the morning, we might make ourselves uh, a club. And then we're going to head into town. Let's go and put some stuff away. Oh my god, the size of them. Right, we're, we're only going to be able to put them away. Can we just drop these logs on the floor or is there a storage place for them? I don't know. We'll keep them in our bag while we sleep. Day two, five days until winter. <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> okay. So, talk to the elder guy. Look at the weather. Well, we're going to go back into town, which I'm thinking was up this way. Head into town and we can... Where's our hunger bar? Doesn't that... Oh, it's got the three hunger slots. That kind of looks like um, like in Valheim. But we're probably going to have to put like three different types of food in there to build our stats up and stuff. Right, there's the town over there. So we've got to go and talk to Dobrin Yorkland again, the elder of the village. Oh, Herndine is occupied. Stranger, none out of a hundred. Sunsteep Valley Lowlands. And it's half seven in the morning. So, if you look at the map, that's all we've uncovered so far. So we walked all the way down here. But there are some bandit camps scattered about and we weren't really watching this. But I think if we're going to explore, we should probably do around this side a little bit. But let's go in. wonder what would happen if we chopped one of the village's cows. I don't know. I don't want to try it, just in case we get through out. Imagine getting kicked out on the first day. Those peasants should be more grateful. Those peasants should be more grateful. Hungry and down on luck, a coin would mean the world. A coin would mean the world. He's begging already. We've only just got here. Okay, here's Dobron. Dobron the Elder. Won't talk until you sheathe your weapon. All right, so how do we do that? Because I don't want to hit him with it. <laughs> Imagine. You again. Give me a chance to earn your trust. If I fail, I'll leave you alone. I still have things I need to do here. Nothing has changed since yesterday. I'll tell you what. We actually have one problem you can try to resolve. If you're willing, of course. Just one problem? It gets cold around here, especially close to the mountains. If we want to keep ourselves warm, we need fur for it, rabbit or wolf pelts. But you see our hunter. Well, we got into a little discussion about how things should work in the village regarding payment. So now you're going to get us to do it for nothing. So I'm guessing you couldn't agree on that little issue. He doesn't want to work with us anymore, but Herndeen mostly depends on him to provide. I want you to convince him to deliver traps. If you okay. can bring us rabbit fur too, that would be very much appreciated. But we can't expect you to do that every day. We want to be self-sufficient with our fur trapping. Got it. So the priority is the traps, and the rabbit fur would be a bonus. Take care of that, and then I will consider your request. I'll see what I can do. Where can I find a hunter? Speak with Emily. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but her heart's in the right place, or so I have to tell myself. Back to the field. She has a good relationship with everyone in the village, and knows nearly everything that goes on around here. If anyone can point you in the right direction, it's her. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Right, so where is she? She's in this direction. So he wants us to go and talk to the town's troublemaker and try and get her to sort things out, I guess. It's a cool little village, isn't it? We've never seen this side of it when we came in before, though. Look at the, the detail is amazing. I like the colouring as well. It's like kind of pale. Terrible jump. Oh, we can actually climb. A villager needs talk to Amelie. Amelie. Beltoir. Greetings, newcomer. Say, have we met before? Your face is awfully familiar. You have to be Amelie. Elder told me you know where I can find Hunter Le Bomme. I am. What can I do for you? Le Bomme, do you know him? Unfortunately. 
I need to find him. He's in the forest, <laughs> just up the hill, not far from the village. Perhaps okay. Bring a book so you have something to do while he rants at you. <laughs> oh well. So we need to go up into the, the forest. So he's up this way. Let's try and jump the little brick wall first. So hopefully there's nothing in here that's going to kill us. I'm not kind of ready. Oh, is that a little lake there as well? Nice. We needed something like that where we built our house, but we just didn't see any water. And I didn't want to stray too far away yet. Yet. He's going to have a go at us for scaring the deer off, isn't he? He will not be happy. The deer, they're running towards him. There he is. So now we're going to go to him and he's going to ask us to do something stupid. <laughs> what are you looking for? It's dangerous to wander around the woods alone. Haven't you heard about wolves or bandits lurking in this area? Not yet. You don't look like the hunting type. So what are you doing here? Elder Dobrin sent me yes for traps. If you have them, the people of Herndon need them. Wolves and bandits lurking in the area. Okay, we'll just say the top one. The people in Herndon. Of course, now they need me. I'm not going to work with them. Bye. Dobrin has no respect for my craft. He doesn't value everything I've contributed to that damned village. And until he does, they can fend for themselves. Can you help me at least? I need to build trust with the elder. No one in the village will even want no one in the village even wants to talk to me. You're asking for help, but you don't know a thing about me or what I went through. Oh. I used to be a respected member of the community. I even could have been an elder if I wanted. But they degraded me because I refused to be a slave to Ashbourne's puppets. So I left. I still tried to contribute from a distance, providing them with fur, food, and creating traps for the sake of the village. But they wanted more. People always want more. Pay, the elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. I don't want to defend anyone, but it seems like Herdeen isn't wealthy enough to pay you. It's not about wealth. It's about the threat, the disrespect they've shown me. I'm sick of talking about it, to be honest. Good. I need some change in my life. What do you mean? Let's make an arrangement. You need traps, and I can teach you how to make them so you can catch smaller animals. You look like someone who can get things done. I don't know why, but I feel like you have a lot going on inside your head. Really? <laughs> I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter and food. Oh, nice. Together, We're going to have our first little villager. each other's lives easier in this land. So, can we cooperate? I think it's possible. I'll come back once I build a shelter for you. Nice. So, we need to go and build him a shelter. So, we've got to figure out where we live. Build a housing center and a... <gasps> Whoa! Build a housing center and a place to sleep for your new companion. Oh, look, we're on the map. It's easier to find, though. Oh, we're going to need some more wood, aren't we? But we're kind of... I think our thing is full. So we need to make a housing sense, is it? Yeah, one of them. And then we're going to build it. Oh, look how we can make a little portal loop. Research desk, simple, simple workbench, campfire, camp chest. Nice. Loads of stuff we can do. And then he's going to help us kill some animals. He can have a house right next to... Right next door to me. Next door to me. If he's the one going to be doing all our work for us, let's get himself a housing tent and place it. We're going to do like a little circle, I think. I would do. We want a bit of a gap actually so we can walk through it. So we're going to do one there. Right, there's that one. What do we need? We're missing something. We're missing stuff. Just tell us what we actually need. Or is that what it does in this little place here? Okay, so we need six flax and nine wood. Six flax and nine wood. Let's go and chop a tree down. The flax wasn't that one. It was like the little purple... There it is there. A purple bush. Oh, some of you. Some of you. Get our axe back out and start chopping a couple of trees down. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> the deer making a racket. Huh. We didn't actually get anything from that young tree. That was a waste. 
we did chop that big tree down over the other side though, didn't we? But well, let's do these ones here so we can see a little bit around our house. Okay, that's that one. We're going to need more than one, so, you know. No harm in cutting a second one down. We actually, oh, we missed it the first time. I hope we get a couple of logs from this. Okay, there we go. Take that log. Takes me a little while to pick it up. I think we might only be able to pick two up at a time. But we'll chop. Oh, no, that's already ready. That's already ready, logs. That's logs already. Is that flax as well? Nice. Right, okay, we'll grab you. Grab you. Looks like flax is going to be kind of important early game. Right, can we start building any of this already? Don't do that. Put it away. Here we go, it's all coming together. Right, so that looks like that. So we need another... One more flax. We need one more little purple bush. Is it? Here we go. Nice. That should be it. That should be it. Right, so we need loads more wood. Go and cut. We cut a tree down. Where was it? Right, the logs must be. Is it? Hi. The logs mustn't count as wood. A log harvested from softwood. Right, we might have to just go and put them down. I don't know whether we can just place it on the floor or anything. It doesn't seem like it's the right type of wood. But we can't chop it up anymore anyway. So, it's not that. So, it's not the big, big trees that we want to do then. Is it just going to be this kind of wood? Why is he chopping it like that? <laughs> well, we're getting wood from it anyway. There must be like a battle stance. But I don't know how to say how to come out of it. Hey, right, try that now. Okay, so look at that. We just got loads of wood from that. We got 10 pieces of wood. And there's a couple of logs left over on the floor. So I think this might be enough stuff to get our stuff done. Nearly done. Nearly done. One more around this side. Couple more around there. Here we go. We've got a tent for our little man. Get back to Lubomir. Lubomir. Lubomir nearby. Oh, he was at the top of that hill. I can see it. I think that's a deer up there. I don't think that was him. I think he was further. A little bit higher up the top. So we're going to hire this fella. And then we will finish off for our first episode. I don't know how long it's going to be. It depends how much of the, um, <laughs> the bits I cut out. I did make a... Uh, a little bit harder work for myself earlier on. Any good news? Is my new home ready? Your new home is ready. Yes, it's ready. Come and join me. Now you can teach me how to build traps and how they work. Let's get to it. Build the research desk for me and then I will show you how it's done. Okay, so that will be our job for next time. A research desk. Once we build them, you should place it in dense forests to increase the chance of catching something. Okay. Will do. Let's get to work. Your so villages can be assigned to one of three roles at any given time. A worker fulfills your crafting and production orders in the settlements. A companion travels with you and follows your commands. A guard patrols and defends your, defends your settlement. So we will probably make him a worker, right? You can command your companions by giving them contextual orders with E to attack, harvest and move. Try it yourself. It's vital that you and your villagers stay well fed. Going hungry will cause your companions, workers and guards to stop what they're doing in order to find food. The better the food, the longer they can work. Okay. So we want to get back down to our little place. Do we need to... Oh, he's following us anyway. Are you quick enough? Come on. Don't be lagging behind. 
We're going to need some warm clothes for this winter, aren't we? I hope the days aren't too short, because otherwise we're going to freeze and starve, probably. So he's going to teach us to catch rabbits, I think. And there's plenty of rabbits around. We've seen loads of them. Okay, this, my friend, is your little house. Manage settlers. Lubomar. Oh, he's assigned to it anyway. Lubomir, that is your name, right? We can inspect you. We're going to make you a worker. You can stay here. We don't really need you. Old ground and guard reservist. Lives in house and tent number one. Consumes meat and veg. I don't know what we do with the meat and veg just yet, but... That is where we are going to finish off, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the first episode in the series. If you are new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up, pop some comments down below, let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.